Matt Moscona, after further review, our good buddy. What's up, my friend? Gentlemen, doing well. How are you? Doing well. I don't know if you heard our banter earlier on who is a better bourbon connoisseur, you or Cone, but you won by a landslide. Is that even a question? I know. That's <laughs> what I said. That's what I said. Cone gave you the most props. Coming in hot. I was honored. That's like saying, who's taller, me or Cone? There's just a very <laughs> obvious black and white answer. I won one. <laughs> look, look, come in here and flex. I love to see it. But, Matt, I, I do want to start. You know, we, we talked yesterday, and, and I've caught a little hell from the LSU fan base. I mean, I don't care. I'm going to tell you what I think either way about this Miles Brennan situation. And me and you kind of had a good conversation, I thought, a little bit this morning when we talked about getting you on the show. My problem is this, and I'm not saying that Miles Brennan's a bad person. I'm not. And it's his life, and what you want to choose to do with yours, I get it. I don't buy into the, you've been here at LSU for a while, so whatever, whatever. My problem is this, okay? If you didn't love football, if you, wanted, if you didn't want to play, why not leave during the spring? Why not leave during the summer? So you're telling me if you would have won the job, you would have still played but not liked football? Like, to me, those it's more about the timeline than anything. And also, now you've put the team in a bad spot. So, so you mean to tell me that you're gonna, we're going to have to rely on, on a guy in Walker Howard that his time is coming? He's going to be a stud. You look around the SEC West, West guys like uh, Walker Howard, Holden Garner at Auburn. You go down the list, some of the young guys. Jalen Milrow, they got at Alabama, who's an absolute stud that, that people, once they see him, that they're going to freak out. But the timeline of it, to me, you hung the team out to dry, and all I heard about this leadership, and I'm a leader, and we're getting great leadership from him. Well, to me, that's not leadership. It's I just feel like they hung him out to dry. And it, like Blaine said yesterday, I feel like you faked it. Um. I don't think that being a third string quarterback is leaving your team in, in dire straits. Uh, they're they're going to go a different direction at quarterback. And that was pretty obvious. Um, I'll tell you guys a story. I have a friend, good friend who was a college football coach, small school, probably never heard of it. And um, decided that he was going to start doing a podcast. And he was literally, as I understand at the airport, going back for the start of the fall and decided, you know what? I don't think I want to do this anymore. I'm going to go do the podcast thing. Mm -hmm. And it really worked out. I got a lot of success, got hired by Colin Cowherd, then the daily wire. I mean, mm -hmm. really has done well. Did he, did he quit on his team? Mm. Well, it, I'll, I'll say this, Matt. And again, I think when we're comparing number one i do want to say the third string quarterback is important ask anybody who ever had the first string quarterback get hurt because that third string quarterback turns Look, into man, second string my, my thing the is last this two though. years well well again, lsu oh, go each ahead. of the last two years lsu has gone to their third quarterback so yes. if it gets to that point they're screwed anyway okay my point is with miles brennan it's not to say that he doesn't love football or that if had he been the starter he loves football more or less Miles Brennan's a guy who is at a point in his life where his commitment to LSU can't be questioned. He, he committed, I told you all this when I sat with y'all in Atlanta, he committed to Les Miles and Cam Cameron. That staff gets blown out. He maintains his commitment. Mm -hmm. Comes in an LSU in 2017 as a freshman. The Ed Ogeron disaster with Matt Canada. He's on a yo-yo string the whole season. Sticks through it. 2018, supposed to be competing for the job. They bring in Joe Burrow from Ohio State. They say, Miles, we need you to take one for the team. Take a red shirt so that way we can reset the quarterback depth after Joe leaves. He says, okay. Sits in 2018. Stays. Could have left. Stayed. Also stayed in 2019. 2020 mm -hmm. was finally going to be a shot. He starts only quarterback to make his first three starts at LSU and throw for over 300 yards each of those starts. Plays half of the game against Missouri with a torn abdominal muscle. That just that hurts just talking about mm -hmm. it. Never lets to play a half of football with it. Ask Cone what it would feel like to play a half of football with a torn abdominal muscle as a quarterback, throwing the football. And then after that, he comes back, even though Max Johnson started the remainder of the season along with Finley. Comes mm -hmm. back in 2021 again because he loves LSU and is going to compete for the job with Max Johnson. Has an unfortunate accident, misses the whole season. And even still, after all of that, he goes into the portal to try to play somewhere else, and then Max Johnson leaves. And so there's one quarterback on scholarship, one quarterback, and it's Garrett Nussmeyer who's played in one game and stunk, by the way, against Arkansas mm -hmm. last year, and says, Brian Kelly says, hey, look, you're going to compete wherever you go. Come compete here. So he says, okay. And then and they bring in Jaden Daniels. Mm -hmm. 
And the whole dynamic changed when they brought in Jaden Daniels. And if that's what you want, if you want a mobile quarterback, okay. So the dude has an option. Guy loves a lot of things. Football is on the, the list of things that he loves, but he's not Joe Burrow. I said this on my show. Yeah, there's not when a lot Joe of Joe Burrow was in there. the film room. Miles Brennan was in the deer stand. Dude loves to hunt and fish. He loves the outdoors. As long, he's, he's engaged now. The dudes, we joke about it, guys. He's been in college for six years, man. Mm -hmm. Like, I, I, I'm okay with people making a decision in their life what's best for them. If you've ever left a job for a better job, if you've ever left a relationship because what the situation you were in wasn't good for you or the other person, whatever it may be, we all make decisions in life based on the circumstances surrounding us at that time. I, I agree. Which is best for us and those I, around I, us. And yeah, for Miles I, Brennan, I, Miles I Brennan could sit on the bench and hold a clipboard for the next six months or he can get on with his life. And God bless him. He well, well, again, LSU. And that's why, that's why, last one, that's why you've gotten so much pushback from LSU fans because well, yeah. LSU fans don't feel like Miles Brennan owes them anything more than he's already given. Again, here's the thing I'm not talking about the fans. And my situation, we got sent home from COVID. All right. We were there the first two weeks I was there, called our head coach, told him what I was going to do. He had, I was going to try it out. He said, go for it. Let me know how it goes, whatever, whatever. I ended up calling him, telling him I was thinking about it, got to the airport, made my decision, called him, and I had warned him. I had warned him. Mm -hmm. It wasn't something where I went out and said, you know what, I'm going to go test the waters. They talked me into coming back, and then I pulled the rug out from under him the minute before I was getting up there. Did my you thing recruit is players? It's, it's not about the fa they were already First year, the early signing period, they were already signed. So we, we were really okay. done with recruiting. So so, so, but wait, but, but wait, you, you but commit. You signed players. You signed players that were coming to play for you. Yeah. Well, the, you come play for the head coach. I, I was, I was a position brother, coach and the defensive well coordinator. Come on, Jake. You know as well as I do that a lot of times, guys, like there are guys who signed with LSU this cycle who had never even met Brian Kelly. Like sometimes it's a okay. Head coach, they know who the coordinator was. They sometimes know who the coordinator you was. Because guess what, Matt? Is. If I don't know the coordinator, I don't know the system. Why the hell would I go sign for a running back coach if I don't know what the system is? So I think that I think that comparison is a bad one because the timeline. The point different. is, well, hold the on. Let me finish. Is. Let me finish. I gave you your time to talk. Let me finish. What I'm saying is, I feel like you let the players. I'm not talking about the fans. The fans aren't the ones that are getting up and going to winter workouts. The fans aren't the ones that are sitting there lifting the weights. The fans aren't the ones that are having to make sacrifices in their life and dependent on people. You just said it. LSU's had to play the third string quarterback basically every season. Now, I get it. If you would have told Brian Kelly that when you came back and said, Coach, look, if I don't win the job, I don't want to play. If he told him that, which I don't think he did, because I don't think Brian Kelly would have welcomed him back, that's one thing. But trying to use my example, when I told the guy what was going on, <laughs> to me, is a little bit of a reach like Will Ray trying to go get recruits. Look, man, you can, you can play any semantic game you want. The point remains, anybody in life, anybody, me included, we have all faced situations and circumstances in life where we have to make decisions that is what's best for us as we proceed. Yeah, in our and life. nobody's attacking and sometimes, that. Nobody's and sometimes, attacking that. And look, if I left, if I left my company today, get, it, because I had an opportunity to go somewhere else, guess what? I leave them in a bind. We're on the verge of football season. Mm -hmm. They have to fill afternoon drive. And it, but that's the nature of life, brother. Like we make oh, decisions yeah, I, which yes. are best for us, and people are going to be affected. But yes. to your point about letting his teammates down. Go look at Twitter. Go see if a single oh, player yeah. has said anything it, negative about Again, that. they're and, not. And what they're I'm telling not. you is, overwhelmingly, Miles Brennan is a respected guy. And again, and people understand the situation. Matt, I respect him, bro. I, I, I respect the guy. I am not attacking. I don't think Miles Brennan is a guy that planned on, honestly, letting everybody down or told people a bunch of lies. Number one, social media is not real life. That's, that's a common misconception. A lot of people say stuff on social media they ain't saying behind closed doors that they're saying in the locker room. Now, when it comes to this decision, I didn't like the timing of it. That's, that's my problem. And look, it's his life, you can decide. If you decide to leave your company, that's fine, that's your choice. That don't mean I gotta like it. I can still have an opinion. That, that's, that's life as well. So if I don't like something that happened, I can still have an opinion. That doesn't make me right. That doesn't make Miles Brennan wrong. But that is my opinion, and I know how it goes because I've been in the business and I've seen it. But at the end of the day, let me ask you this, Matt. Do you think it's better for LSU now that that situation's kind of done and over and guys like Jaden Daniels and Nussmeyer and Walker Howard, maybe a young guy? Because you know as well as I do, you can play reps in the season and not burn a shirt. 
So when I look, do you think it's better for LSU now that that whole situation's gone? Because if he wasn't in it and he did stay, I could argue on the flip side that we talked about it yesterday. It's probably the best thing for that quarterback room and for LSU, not because Miles is a bad guy or that he'd be a problem, but it does kind of trim the fat a little bit at that position. Yeah, it clears the deck. Um, but yes, it clears the deck. But I would never argue that losing depth and experience at the most important position in organized team sports is ever a good thing. So, so the third-string quarterback does matter, Matt. Could, the third-string quarterback could, does could matter. You, could you spin it to the point where maybe Walker gets reps? Or Sure, 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 sure. Mm -hmm. um, if LSU gets to the point where – Daniels, Nussmeyer, Nussmeyer, Daniels, whatever, it doesn't work out, and they have to play a third quarterback, are they better with Brennan than they are with Walker Howard? I would say so. Yeah, but I agree with that. What really, like, hypothetically, what really do you think LSU is playing for in year one under Brian Kelly? Like, I think we all recognize <laughs> yeah. this is a team that that is looking to take positive steps in the post-Ed Ogeron era to get themselves back to a championship, you know, uh, level. Yeah. I, well, I think, you know, I think nine wins is the ceiling, but go ahead, Cone. Well, I'm glad to hear you say the, these agree, things about, I, I'm glad to hear you say these things, Matt, about Miles Brennan, because from an outsider's perspective, like we were talking about yesterday, it does, the timing does seem odd. And I, I don't think your analogy with Jake really holds water. I mean, first of all, there is a difference between <laughs> fall camp and spring practice, but more so, it seems like the timing of this is that Miles Brennan left after he was told he wouldn't be the starting quarterback. I mean, if, if Miles Brennan was told he would be the starter this week, is he still on the team moving forward? Of course he is, Cone. So then it seems like he because left he's the waited team. For, he's waited for six years for the opportunity. And if he was going to have the opportunity, uh, of <laughs> course he stays. Yeah, well, don't well, go but, on a boat holding a bunch of stuff and fall on a flip-flop and break your and, arm. Well, I mean, but, I wanted to be Jake, the starting quarterback at Michigan. I wanted to be the starting quarterback at Michigan as badly as he did at LSU. You know, I mean, I get that new opportunities come up, but enough about him then. As far as Jaden Daniels, at least like what Jake was saying, you do know it has to feel good that with two weeks still to go in camp that you have named your starting quarterback. So do you think Jaden Daniels will start every game for LSU this season? To be clear, Cone, they have not named a starter yet. Okay. So do you so, think it's Jaden though? Do you deep down? I mean, it's looking well, guys, that way, you right? I, you and I sat in Atlanta and I told you that. Yeah. You, know, you did. I, yes, you did. You did. And it's called this weeks ago. Did. And and it's not and it wasn't um and by the way, Jake, you know I love you, bro. Oh, like, dude, I'm so, Matt, I'm, Matt, I'm so we're talking dude, we love the band. Personal we love the band. Look, this is this is good. If we all agreed, this would suck. This show would be terrible. <laughs> um and I'm damn proud of what you've done, man. I, I you made the right call, but I think Miles Brennan did too. As for Jaden Daniels, um, I look, I, what I told you guys back when we were in Atlanta, um, I, I, don't, I can't say that I'm super bullish on it, but circumstantially it makes sense, doesn't it? Like, you didn't have to go bring in Jaden Daniels, but they did. Yeah. Um, you have a quarterback in Garrett Nussmeyer who's never started a game. You have Daniels who started 30 games. Mm -hmm. You have a guy that sit, suits athletically what – the head coach and offensive coordinator won in their quarterback. It, it just makes sense that that he's the guy. Now, I, I do think Daniels will take the first snap. I've thought that all along. Um, is he good enough to keep the job? I don't know. I think we see both of them play a lot in the first three weeks because after mm -hmm. Florida State, they play Southern and New Mexico State. And then Mississippi State comes in, y'all. And if you look at – I know I heard y'all talking about schedules a bit ago. Look at LSU's October. I mean, you go at Auburn, yeah. home against Tennessee, at Florida, home against Ole Miss, you, you had better be sprinting by that point. Because if you don't, yeah. that's when things go into a tailspin. Exactly. So, I mean, Cone, to your, to your point, I, I do think Daniels takes the first snap. I don't know if he keeps the job, but they better figure it out quickly. Yep. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, I'm not going to bring up Miles Brennan. We'll be here all day. <laughs> um, I'm going to talk about the <laughs> – what's up, Maddie? I'm going to talk about the LSU defense, man. That's always been a big thing in my eyes. LSU defense are usually absolutely brutal, especially inside the box. What's your expectations for LSU's defense this year? Honestly, guys, the more we've gotten to see, and just a little context, like Brian Kelly's actually opened up practice more than has been opened in, like literally since Jerry DiNardo. It's That's been like surprising. 30 years, uh, right? Because then the the uh, the beat at Notre Dame said like he wasn't this open, but well, Brian's not week, an open book. Brian typically hadn't been an right? open book. He's more of the same, and I don't want anybody to see anything. Guys, we last week we got to watch a full practice on Thursday, and tomorrow on Wednesday. They're scrimmaging in Tiger Stadium. The media gets to watch the entire thing. That's awesome. It's it's incredible. Mm -hmm. We've never had access like this. 
And so for that context, Bland, I tell you, man, I think the, if I have one big takeaway from fall camp so far, I'm, I'm bullish on LSU's defense. I love um, it. The, the defensive line is deep and talented. Um, they're going to play probably six guys rotating at linebacker, uh, which sounds ridiculous. But right now, Micah Baskerville, who's your second leading return, it was your second leading tackler mm-hmm. a year ago behind Damone Clark. He, he's running right now third, like with the wow. 13th. Wow. Um, so you've got depth at backer. And then the secondary is completely remade. Because I was looking it up. It's all a bunch of guys transferred in that are all fifth and sixth year seniors um, who played a ton of ball. I That Matt House is going to have that defense. I, I would be, I tell you all, if we come back in a month and LSU's defense, you know, hits the tripwire out of the gate and they stink, I'll be really, really surprised. I think Mm. that defense is going to give them an opportunity to have success and let the offense sort of come along as the season goes. Yeah, Mason Smith's a guy I'm really excited to see, too, on that that defensive line as well. Matt, what's going on with the Yankees? Yeah, let's talk about the Yankees, (laughs) What's going on? We got to get healthy. Ever since we talked to you, we got to get healthy. They've fallen off a cliff. We got to get back healthy. Eight and 16 since They're pulling a Mets. (laughs) <laughs> Who cares? Uh, what, what, are they, what are they? Fifteen? What are they? What are they leading to so by fifteen games? Yeah, like, that's like ten games for the whole month of September. Who cares? Like, I love it. Be in the postseason. Yep. Just be healthy. Mm. Aaron Judge is going to hit seventy homers. That's what I was going to ask. That. Yeah. 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 <laughs> you, you play look, you play 162, you're gonna have a stretch where you lose it's baseball. 16 of 24. It's freaking baseball, yeah. man. It just is like it's the same conversation in reverse when people are like, oh, look, they're outpacing the 27 Yankees. I'm like, they are, but it's June. Shut up. Like, <laughs> you got a long way to go, man. Like they're like gonna be you... playing when it's snowing. Like <laughs> it, we got a long way to go. If you ask me to write Moscona's answer to that question, I feel like I would have gotten pretty close. I think he would have gotten pretty close because it's true. That's what happens when you play 800 regular season games. Blaine, one quick one from the Boost Club before you, before you get Matt out of here. All right, um, we got a question here from Pants to My Shirts. Um, <laughs> what does LSU have to... Hold on. That's, I can't that's not, say the other. That's I can't, not really his answer. I can't say. It's Pants to My Something Else. Yeah, I can't say it. I can't say it. <laughs> what does LSU have to do to become a championship contender once again? Exist. Be yeah. themselves. <laughs> That's true. I agree. Well, I asked on Twitter the other day, I was like, what's a harder job? LSU or Alabama? It's got to be Alabama, even though even though Saban, it's crazy right now. There's no Auburn in the state of Louisiana. Uh, like you, you, And again, that, that state is so saturated with talent that that's why you won one. You won one with less and Ed O. You know what I'm saying? Ed O is basically a walking etch a sketch. Yeah. You, like what, <laughs> you know, like what you don't need, like some sort of Stephen Hawking mind genius. The just mi- like, it's like, it's like, to me, it's like being a kindergarten teacher. Make sure everybody gets there. You put your stuff in your <laughs> cubby. We'll have nap time halfway through. And guess what? It'll be great. It'll go great. But I think Matt, Matt agrees with me on that. All right. BJPS uh, 09X13. So you see how I did there, Matt? Question Star for Matt. Wars Planet. How long is Brian Kelly's leash at LSU, and how many years before he's contending or winning the West in the SEC? His, his, leech, his leash is a decade, guys. The LSU Ooh. gave him a 10-year deal with 90% of his contract guarantee. For better, or worse, they, for better or worse, they are tied to Brian Kelly for 10 years for $100 million. He's got, and, and the AD that hired him ain't going nowhere. Yeah. So he's got as long a leash as he needs. How long till they're contending? Um, I think inside of three years. I agree with that. I agree. I wouldn't, I wouldn't be shocked if it's two, but Matt, we appreciate you joining us, brother. Tell everybody where they can find your work down there, and you know it's always fun. Yeah, man, appreciate you guys. Uh, if you can spell my name, you can find me online. But um, <laughs> ESPN affiliates all throughout Louisiana, just uh, search my name, Matt Moscona, M-O-S-C-O-N-A. You'll find me. All right, Matt, I appreciate you, buddy. Can't wait to see you again, and we'll uh, talk some more bourbon. Some bourbon bells and books. Adios, Matty. Out the office. We'll see you, I love buddy. you guys. I'll see you. All right, I love you too, brother. See you, buddy. All right. Hey, everybody. If you like what you're hearing, go ahead and ring that bell. We're excited to be here. It's Crane and Company live, 2 to 3 Central, daily. Ring that bell. I want to hear it from coast to coast.